Yokohama, Japan. Nomiya Inoue. Well, they've got the Loch Ness Monster in these parts. Here comes Nomiya Inoue. First time in Europe, first time in Britain, first time in Scotland. Obviously, there's a former good friend, George Taylor, but I'd also to be here to see. Ladies and gentlemen, this is 12 rounds of boxing. And so, ladies and gentlemen, in attendance here at ringside. And for those watching around the world, introducing first, Boxing out of the red corner, winning white with gold. 19 contests, 19 wins, 12 wins by KO. Emmanuel Rodriguez. And across the ring, in the blue corner, winning blue with black and gold. Of 17 wins, no defeats, 15 KOs. All right, those gloves, keep it clean. Massive Japanese support, Rodriguez. I wouldn't go anywhere right now. In a way, from Japan in the sparkling shorts, Rodriguez from Puerto Rico, kind of getting things done quickly. Um, Rodriguez started coming forward, uh, and we on the back foot, which is pretty interesting. 88% knockout ratio, he's won all. Hasn't needed to fight that many rounds, has it? It's a knockout ratio of a heavyweight, in my opinion, is his toughest fight to date. It is. Rodriguez never off his feet. In a way, early on. Rodriguez took it, gritted on his gum shield, and came back with a flurry of his own. Toe to toe, acular. Oh, they're, they're winging these punches in these two. It's almost a macho battle. In a way, takes a bit of a breather. Close and per. Um, and personal, it's a it's a real thing of beauty. He gets so much leverage on it. Why he's got the knockout ratio that he has, a very, very This has been a good start from Rodriguez and there's that furious heavy bombs have landed already. That's a low one for Rodriguez, I think. And Michael But it was an accident the one and, and in a way just wanted to fight on. He's used to being on his feet. And as we anticipated in the build-up to the fight, even got it on the judges' cards. I don't think so, in my opinion, Anoué has won this round. Rodriguez's punches have come from Anoué, and, and I think that made a difference here in this. Back we go with, mind you, you, two unbeaten world champions colliding for the right to meet Nonito. A huge support staff with him. Big Japanese media continue in their country. Ooh. Now that's a right hand that shifted a few in its time. Yeah, it's a, it's a great... Which is equally as hard with his right hand as he does with... The danger shot, which is the left hook, but the right hand is a solid punch as well. A keen eye on things, looking very stylish as well. One of, one of boxing's great. Overawed. Fine fighting background. He's worked exceptionally for this fight. And he's, he's eaten a couple there. My a fearsome flurry. And he's done. He's got him with a left for the first time in his career. He'll take the eight count in the corner right above us. Here again is Rodriguez. Here comes in away. Oh, he's got it to the body. Oh, what a shot. It's more than that. Surely Rodriguez, he's shaking it. He's up. He's up. Get your... To go, Jim. Oh, this is unbelievable from in away. Fergus rocks to the core. Another count. It's over. Michael Alexander lights out for Rodriguez. He strikes again in a way. The mini mark, absolutely awesome. Carl Frampton. That's an absolute split there, man. Justifiably so. We wonder what would happen when he came out of Japan. Manny Rodriguez down like all the rest. We should not have wondered, really. Every inch is landed. Rodriguez is the first knockdown, Carl. That was a great shot. From that. Oh, what a shot. And, and that big long left. I hit him right on the chin. Unbelievable power for Juan McDonald. That that left hook was so good, and it's so long and so precise. And he done well to get up. The referee stopped the fight, but he wanted to continue. That yo know, Rodriguez is a proud Puerto Rican. That's one of the best performances I've seen with my own eyes. Sitting this close, that was a real treat to watch. Well, they'll talk about it for many years. Will the fanatical fight in just two rounds? 
absolutely sensational. What a talent. He's a huge man. He is indeed. Let's go to Craig Steve. Referee Michael Alexander steps in, calls a halt to the contest. His and the new IBF bantamweight champion of the world in a way. As though he's just had a gentle stroll on the banks of the Clyde outside the arena. But known as the monster, I guess now we know why. Talk us through. I've always had that feeling, and I've always kept that going, and that, and I was able to. Is this tournament bringing out the best in you? Very quick word on your fans. You're a long way from Japan. But it felt like it was Japan in here tonight. This is a ring where I... To the final of the World Boxing Super Series where you'll fight for the Muhammad Ali. And what do you have to do to beat him? And I respect him a lot. And I look forward to him. I don't know how I'm going to fight him yet, but I'm going to go back. Nonito, before the fight, you said, I think this could be a 50-50 fight. It's difficult to pick a winner. He felt that I was going to be here, and, and now it's happening, and this is what boxing is all about, the best of the best. You know, he's a great, great, great fighter with great power, great intelligence, just great everything, and that's something that... Well, ladies and gentlemen, we are joined in the, the monster. No, I in a way. Both through to the bantamweight final. Oh, that's brilliant stuff from uh, Nonito. Do looking at uh, Nonito Donaire there, Carl Fanton, a fellow you have beaten. And the, the monster. What a job. Yeah, I was speaking to him, and I was speaking to I that he, it's a fight that gets him excited, and he feels like a 21-year-old again. I think that 